Welcome back to the Outback Fibers Studio. Today we're going to introduce you to two of the products that we carry here and show you how you can make the most out of these products. The first one we're going to feature is our needled pre-felt, very fine, lightweight pre-felt. Pre and the second item is going to be our silk hankies. And these come in a variety of colors. And we're going to do a small project today to show you how to make the most of these. Today we have laid out a piece of needled pre-felt on our rubber matting shelf liner and we've already done the little decorations. We've used the pre-felt here and just cut some shapes which it's very nice for that. But first what we're going to do now is add the silk hankies and this is a single silk hanky and I'm going to show you here how to take one off your stack. So if you've purchased a stack of silk hankies, turn to the side and you'll see that there are quite a number of them stacked together here. So this is where you want to peel the selvage carefully of the hanky all the way around. And this is where a pair of scissors becomes a good friend. Hankies have a tendency to cling to everything, any little bit of dry skin. So it doesn't hurt to take your scissors and just occasionally clip those loose fibers. So we've now rescued one hanky from the stack and we'll set the rest of the stack aside. Now to make the most of the hanky, the beauty of the hanky really is in the little edges that go around the perimeter. And so to make the most of this in the way of getting some texture, I'm going to take the hanky and pinch it up in the middle, rather like you would a man's handkerchief if you're going to put it in a, in a, soup, a soup coat pocket. Shake it a little bit, turn it over, and you can see how you can cluster it together here and create for yourself a nice form of a rosette. So we'll cluster that down. And we've got a second one here, a different color here. And again, we're going to do the same thing. Shake it, turn it, and then cluster it down. And you can see how those nice little edges give you a lot of definition right there. So once you've laid that down, you've got your little decoration on there. Then we're going to go to the wet felting process to see what we can make with this. So I'll slide this to the side. And I've got a damp towel here. And we're going to place the piece of work on the towel. And taking our piece of netting, and again, this is the athletic jersey, any kind of synthetic with holes in it that will allow the water to penetrate. And we will place that over the top. Press that down gently. And then we've got, our, again, our water in this bottle, our soap gel in this bottle. So we're going to drizzle some water on. It takes a little while for the silk to absorb the water. The wool will absorb the water more readily, so be patient here. We drizzle our goopy soap gel on there. And using our wonderful felting tool, the scrunched up grocery bag, we'll start in the middle. With just very small motion, what we're trying to do here is just get it wet all the way through. And the soap helps uh, break the water through so that it will penetrate into the wool and the silk. And it gives you that little bit of lubrication that allows the grocery bag to slide easily on the top of your work. So just make sure you get it nice and wet all the way to the edges adding a little extra where the silk is because it will take a little time for that to penetrate. And you can see I have a light skim of, of soap going on the surface of my work. And I'm adding a little pressure now as I'm going across the surface just to agitate those fibers a little bit and begin that felting process. I want to make sure I get some connection between the wool and the silk before I start rolling this. And I like this little process of rubbing it. I think it makes sure that the layers are completely wet all the way through. 
and it just helps to bond that connection between any fibers that you have on the surface of your work. So once you've given that a rub, then at this point you can carefully lift off your netting. At this point, if you see you've got anything that's shifted around and you want to move it a little bit, you can gently push that around. And I'm going to turn this over and rub the back side of my piece. Now try not to hold it up and let it hang down too much or the weight of the water will stretch your piece of pre-felt. We just had one layer of the pre-felt here for our background. It's fairly thin but it will shrink approximately 40% to 50%. So it will tighten up and be sufficiently thick for you to be able to utilize the finished piece in some of your work. And once we've rubbed on this for a couple of minutes, then we're going to move to the rolling step. Now that we've rubbed both sides of this, we're going to roll it up with our rubber mat and with fairly firm pressure, you're just going to roll back and forth for a hundred rolls. After a hundred rolls in each direction, you're going to unroll it and change the direction of your piece 90 degrees. So then return it and roll it for another hundred rolls. When you've done that, then turn it once again keeping going in one direction, roll it again, another hundred rolls, and one last fourth time, roll it for another hundred rolls. Now that we've completed rolling a hundred rolls in each of the four directions, we're ready to complete the fulling process on our piece today. So just pick this up gently in your hands, add a little extra water to make sure it's nice and moist, and roll it around gently in your hands with some moderate pressure. Just cut them around as if you have a tennis ball in there and add gentle pressure going around and around and just do this for about 10 or 12 seconds. Then you need to open it up and give it a gentle stretch in all directions and you'll see that the texture in the silk is beginning to uh, develop on the surface. So then we're going to stretch that out and then return it and continue rolling. And you're going to continue rolling and stretching until your piece is reduced to about 50% of the size. <coughs> and so we've done a little like the cooking shows today and we've done one ahead of time. When you finish rolling this and stretching it and when it's dry, this is what you will end up with at the end of your, with the end, uh, your piece at the end. And you'll see how we've got this wonderful texture with the silk. And at this point, if you wish to add stitching or beading or anything extra to develop the textures on, on the piece, then this is very easy to sew on. So these are two wonderful products that we have here at Outback Fibers. The pre-felt comes in squares like this, or you can get larger lengths as well. So just check the website for that. And then also our hankies come in a wonderful selection of colors. You can get a 10 gram package, which is about 20, 18 or 20 hankies in a variety of different colors. So try these out and you'll be delighted with some of the results that you can produce. Thank you for visiting us at Outback Fibers.